Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing the Q&A video. Um, I'm excited to do this. Thank you everyone that did participate on my Instagram. If you don't follow my Instagram, follow down below. Um, people ask me some questions, so now I'm gonna answer them. First things first, I do wanna address where I have been. I, I did get that question quite a few times, so I am gonna lead off with that one. Um, I have been not like taking a break from YouTube. I just have not had so much time to do videos as much as I used to. Um, I am going to nursing school now, so I am excited about that, but it is very time consuming. It's a lot of studying and a lot of stuff to do, so that's why I have not been posting a lot. And also just another reason is because GD had court like three to four months ago, and YouTube was discussed and talked about and kind of like threatened um, from his ex. So I just wanted to kind of make a point that YouTube is a hobby for me. It's not like it's life or death if we do it. So it's just a hobby. So taking it away or doing it, it's not, it's not going to make or break us. It's just for fun. It's just a hobby. The kids like doing it. I like doing it. But of course priorities come first which I am going to school so that's why I have not been posting as much anymore um so let's see how is your dad doing thank you so much for asking that is so sweet I know a lot of you if you have been following me for a while you know my dad has been sick for like the past three years now with like his cancer and cirrhosis of the liver and it's been very difficult for us so I really do appreciate you asking he is still in hospice so it's very difficult my brother is has been so amazing he has been taking time off work and taking care of him full on um, his sickness has progressed tremendously he needs 24 7 care from feeding diaper changes and stuff like that so don't mind my cats it's funny because I tried to like get them out of the room and then they were like crying out the door so I'm like I'm just gonna have to have them in here they're so needy and cute, but um, he has days where he can kind of use his walker and get up a little bit or like use a spoon. So like those are good days, but when it's bad, it's bad. So my brother has been amazing and yeah, we're just taking it day by day to be honest. Okay, so does your daughter still get to see Kaisi and Kaden and Landon? Um, yes, I've, as I have addressed in the last q and I did, I know I did that one like I think it was like a year ago. But yes, she does when she's at her dad's house. If he has them and she's there, which he usually lines it up like that, I think, um, she will get to see them. And the only time I know she sees them is when she talks about it. Like, oh my God, I got to see my brothers. And she's all excited. So, um, Have you ever ha asked Jessica for the three boys to come to yours since you and Drake split up? Um, no, I haven't just because I don't feel like it's really necessary if Bella is going to be seeing her brothers at her dad's house. I'm not going to reach out and, you know, she hasn't really reached out, but I'm sure she kind of feels the mutual, the same about that. So no. Are you guys going to have a baby together? Yes, of course we do plan on having a baby together. I am in nursing school right now, so I do want to kind of wait towards like the end of that or right after it to try to start getting pregnant but that right now is my main priority which one of your tattoos hurt the most so to be honest all my tattoos hurt so freaking bad like people i know everyone's pain tolerance is different so some some people like it doesn't hurt them or they're like oh i just fell asleep like no i'm sorry like tattoos freaking hurt i don't know how i sit there i will sit there for like seven eight nine hours i have no clue how i do it i have not got a tattoo in like four or five years and i don't even know if i'm gonna get any more they hurt so freaking bad but um i feel like right here hurt really bad it hurt really bad where i'm like don't even do this part of my arm that's how bad this area hurt um elbow which is funny because if you pinch the skin it doesn't hurt but if you tattoo on that it like sends nerves through your body where it's hurting your stomach like your head like it's so weird how like something so sen it's like a sensitive area right here where it just shoots pain everywhere it's insane but there's literally like a circle right here on my arm because that's how painful it was he's like 
He's like, that's gonna look dumb. You gotta like shade that in. We gotta shade that in. I'm like, I don't care how it looks. Don't do it. That's how bad it was. But my leg, my leg hurt. My leg hurt really bad. This took 17 hours total. So this is like my longest tattoo. It, it got broken down to three sessions, but it was a lot of painful sessions. <laughs> what size are you inside clothes? Um, I don't know, like a two in jeans or a four. You know how jeans are. It's like depends on where you're at sometimes a four is super big sometimes oh my god my cat's attacking my foot um sometimes a four is super big sometimes a four is too tight or like a two fits perfect i don't know it just depends on the style but usually from like two to four i have fitting in like some ones but mainly just twos and fours now does your stepdaughter live with you guys full time and will you guys have another baby i dressed the baby one and um she does not live with us full time. We do have her 50-50, so I feel like people kind of see her like often on my stuff. I don't know. Most people ask that, like, does she live with you full time? Does she live with you full time? Um, we just have her a lot. She's she's here half the time. Um, I think we have her a little bit more than half the time just because we have her mainly on the holidays. But yeah, she's just here a lot. How are you so gorgeous and admirable? Oh, that's so freaking sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Miranda or Miranda. Miranda Ray, thank you so much. That is so freaking sweet. Like when I get comments, I got like a few of these and like it really makes my day. Like it really put a smile on my face. Like it's really sweet. Thank you so much. Do you want more kids? Um, do you let the cats go outside? Um, no, we don't want the cats go outside. Um, if they weren't hairless, we would definitely introduce them to the outside. But um, no, just because... We don't want them to get sick. We don't want them to get in fights with other cats. We don't want them to run off. We don't want anyone to steal them. Just because their breed and how expensive they are, like someone could definitely see them and pick them up and take them. And especially Whiskey, this little dude right here. Especially him, he is so friendly. Like if you've seen him on the sidewalk, he would just let a stranger pick him up. He's so sweet. So. We just can't chance it by letting them outside. There's no way. When are you gonna join my wrestling coaching staff? <laughs> I used to wrestle back in the day. Gosh, I freaking miss it. It was so fun and I, I definitely miss it. It's like a once in a lifetime experience being on a wrestling team and it was so fun going to all those tournaments but I just do not have time to go coach and stuff. I wish, but maybe one day. Where did you honeymoon at? Um, I wanted to make a separate video talking about this. So I'm not going to touch too much on it. But we did go to Mexico. Cancun, Mexico. It's ex Caret Hotel Resort. It is beautiful beyond words. I feel like my camera or video did not do no justice of how it really is in person. It's so amazing and pretty and just insane. The resort has like 14 restaurants. It's like huge. It's um, It was amazing. Um, what were you and Bella making with the cinnamon rolls? I know I did post that on my Instagram story. Um, so we, we blended cinnamon rolls, pure maple syrup, almond milk, eggs, blended it up into a blender and made pancakes out of it. It was good. Not going to lie. It was good. But all the work and all the stuff that goes into the ingredients, like kind of was a waste of time. Like I'd rather just do instant pancakes to be honest. It was good. It just had like a... A hint of cinnamon which you can just add that in instant pancake mix so I won't be doing that probably again but it was it was a fun process to do with her for sure are you planning on having a baby Everyone wants me to have a baby oh my god I feel like I'm like always getting asked that not just by like people on the line but just like for family members like probably because we got married you know almost a year ago now like when are you gonna have a baby when are you gonna have a baby when are you gonna have a baby I don't know if everyone like expected me to like get with him and like have a baby instantly I don't know but everyone's like, when are you gonna have a baby? When are you gonna have a baby? When are you gonna have a baby? Which is totally fine, but I just wanted to bring awareness to people having infertility issues or miscarriages. And I just want to say this publicly that you don't know what someone's going through. So you asking them that all the time, I'm not talking to you personally if that, this was your question, I promise, but I just wanted to say this like in a general statement. You I'm sorry if my cats, I wonder if my cats are like super loud this whole time. Ooh, stop. Um but anyways, what I was saying, um a general statement is you don't know what people are going through in life you don't know if I've had four miscarriages you don't know if I'm struggling to get pregnant so like keep that in mind when you're just 
asking and you have every right to ask whatever I know you don't mean any harm by it but you don't know what people are going through you don't know you just don't know so it could be really hurtful to somebody that's really trying to get pregnant and then you're just nonchalant like what do you have a baby where's the when's the next baby and you're just dying inside because you're like I've been trying to be pregnant I'm, I've had miscarriages like you know what I'm saying so just keep that in mind are you on good terms with Bella's stepmom and are you guys friends I wouldn't say we're friends but we're definitely on good terms like if there's an issue or anything I could text her or if I need to get a hold of Bella I can text her or call her phone like we're not like we don't hang out and like we're not friends but we definitely are on good terms how do you co-parent when it comes to holidays do you guys have a agreed schedule um for me and drake for bella we kind of just oh what day is your family doing something oh, okay mine's doing it this day and we like kind of coordinate with each other so that's nice um with my stepdaughter it is like a court ordered schedule like this time this and that but thankfully we get her on mostly all holidays we have her on like every christmas eve and christmas morning until like the afternoon time and then we have her on like every halloween we have her on every fourth of july every father's day and every thanksgiving but that's nice because her mom is jehovah witness so she doesn't celebrate holidays so at court it kind of got like agreed upon that she can be here and celebrate on holidays which is awesome because she absolutely loves celebrating so i'm glad she's able to be here and participate with us because she loves it not a question, but oh my god, I'm so excited you're coming back to YouTube. We missed you so much. This was actually my first question back in my question box. And like I said, when I get comments like this, I really it really does make my day and it makes me smile. And thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm sorry I've been kind of gone. I've been like MIA, but... What year did you and Drake fully break up? Shoot. <laughs> I don't know. Um... Bella was like two and a half. I think she was like almost three. Hello. Are you gonna jump in the shower? Yeah. I'm waiting for you because I feel weird. So I don't know exactly what year it was. Shoot, I probably should have like known that before I even read this question, but 2000. 17? Shoot, I don't know. Don't quote me. I don't know. Babies, 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 babies. <laughs> you seem so happy. I'm so happy for you, Natalie. Thank you so much. I freaking am. Like, I literally think sometimes, like, freak. I used to be so miserable and upset and just, like, dwelling on, like, dumb shit and I don't know. I'm in like so much like a better place in my life and my headset and I just I feel like I have so much with my husband and like we have a home and we love the girls and just like life's freaking good. How did you do your hair inside the picture? I love it. Thank you. So coming from someone that does not know how to do hair, this this style is super easy and you just like grab a piece, tie it in a pony, kind of like scrunch it up, pull some pieces, then you just keep going, keep going, and like you just make them like bubbles. And it's really freaking easy. Like I said, coming from someone that doesn't really do hair very well. Don't mind my kitty. Whiskey, come here baby. Um, it's easy and I love it. I think it's so cute and unique looking one of my friends did it and then um she posted like the tiktok video of where like she's seen the tutorial of it and i was like i gotta try that so like i just like tried it and then i freaking liked it and then i called my sister i'm like i was like i like it but i don't really know if i should like wear it in public like i, I kind of feel weird because i never really had like my hair like done like anything cute but she hyped me up she's like it looks so cute just do it i'm like should i make my video in it and she's like yeah just do it i'm like Okay, fine. I'm just gonna do it. Jump, jump to bottom and comfort level. I got this. I just wanted to show you guys real quick my kitty cats. This is Luna. She's like a spunky personality. Whoa, see. Like, but when she's loving, she's like, this is Whiskey. He is the sweetest boy we'll ever meet. He just wants 
to cuddle you. I don't know if you heard him meowing earlier. He just wants all the attention in the world. He don't care who it's from. He just loves everybody and he is so sweet. He's like, get away from me. I don't like the bright light. Hey. Luna's attacking my foot down there. Come here, you little turd. But Yes. Say bye. Say bye, YouTube. Say bye bye. Anyways, guys, this wraps up my Q&A. Thank you so much for everyone that did participate. And if you have me on Instagram, if you don't have me on Instagram, go get me on Instagram because I'm most active on there. All right, guys. Well, bye.